Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the world of Hollywood to uncover 30 actors who have vanished from the spotlight. From former heartthrobs to beloved character actors, these performers have seemingly disappeared from the entertainment industry. Join us as we explore the reasons behind their sudden departures and what they're up to now. Now, let's get started. Sir Sean Connery was a legendary Scottish actor, born on August 25, 1930, in Edinburgh, Scotland. He rose to global fame for his portrayal of the iconic character James Bond, beginning with Dr. No in 1962. Connery's suave demeanor, charisma, and rugged charm made him the definitive Bond, and he went on to portray the character in a total of seven films. Beyond Bond, Connery had a distinguished career spanning decades, starring in numerous acclaimed films such as The Untouchables, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, and The Hunt for Red October. He received numerous awards, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in The Untouchables. Connery retired from acting in 2006, citing a desire to spend more time with his family. He passed away on October 31, 2020, at the age of 90, in Nassau, Bahamas. The cause of his death was reported as pneumonia and heart failure. Connery's legacy as one of the greatest actors of his generation continues to be celebrated by fans worldwide. Gene Hackman is an American actor and novelist, born on January 30, 1930, in San Bernardino, California. He rose to prominence in Hollywood with his intense and versatile performances, becoming one of the most respected actors of his generation. Hackman gained widespread recognition for his roles in acclaimed films such as The French Connection, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor, and The Conversation. He continued to deliver memorable performances in a wide range of genres, including dramas, thrillers, and comedies, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards throughout his career. In 2004, Gene Hackman announced his retirement from acting, choosing to focus on writing novels. Despite occasional rumors of a comeback, he has remained steadfast in his decision to step away from the limelight. Currently, Gene Hackman is 94 years old, enjoying his retirement and leaving behind a legacy of unforgettable performances in cinema. Rick Moranis is a Canadian actor, comedian, and musician, born on April 18, 1953, in Toronto, Ontario. He gained widespread fame for his roles in numerous comedy films during the 1980s and 1990s, becoming known for his distinctive comedic style and lovable characters. Moranis rose to prominence with his roles in hit movies such as Ghostbusters, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, and Spaceballs. His talent for portraying endearing and quirky characters endeared him to audiences worldwide. Despite his successful acting career, Moranis decided to step away from the spotlight in the late 1990s to focus on raising his children following the death of his wife. While he continued to work sporadically in voice acting and music, Moranis largely retreated from Hollywood. As of now, Rick Moranis is 70 years old. Despite his absence from the acting scene, his contributions to comedy and film continue to be celebrated by fans, and his decision to prioritize family life is respected by many. Cameron Diaz is an American actress, producer, and author, born on August 30, 1972, in San Diego, California. She rose to fame in the 1990s with her breakout role in The Mask, 1994, opposite Jim Carrey, where her natural charm and comedic timing captivated audiences. Diaz went on to establish herself as a leading actress with roles in films like There's Something About Mary, Charlie's Angels, and Shrek. Her versatility and on-screen presence earned her critical acclaim and box office success. In 2014, Diaz announced her retirement from acting, citing a desire to focus on other aspects of her life, including her marriage to musician Benji Madden and her passion for wellness and writing. Since then, she has focused on her career as an author, releasing books on health and longevity. Today, Cameron Diaz is 51 years old, 
and while she may have stepped back from acting, her legacy in Hollywood continues to be celebrated by fans worldwide. Mara Wilson is an American actress, born on July 24, 1987, in Los Angeles, California. She became famous for her roles as a child actress in the 1990s, starring in beloved films such as Mrs. Doubtfire, Matilda, and Miracle on 34th Street. Wilson's talent and charm endeared her to audiences worldwide, making her a cherished figure in Hollywood during her youth. However, as she grew older, Wilson began to step away from acting. She chose to focus on her education and personal life, pursuing interests outside of the entertainment industry. Despite occasional appearances in film and television, she largely left acting behind. Now, Mara Wilson is 36 years old. While she may no longer be active in the spotlight, her contributions to cinema as a talented child actress continue to be cherished by fans, and she has found success as a writer and storyteller in her adult life. Bridget Fonda is an American actress born on January 27, 1964, in Los Angeles, California. She hails from a prestigious acting family, being the daughter of Peter Fonda and the granddaughter of Henry Fonda. Fonda rose to prominence in the 1980s and 1990s with her captivating performances in films such as Single White Female, Point of No Return, and Jackie Brown. Her natural talent and on-screen presence earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. However, in the early 2000s, Fonda began to step back from acting, gradually reducing her involvement in the industry. While she never officially announced her retirement, she chose to prioritize her personal life over her career. Fonda married composer and former Oingo Boingo frontman Danny Elfman in 2003 and focused on raising a family. Presently, Bridget Fonda is 60 years old. While she may have stepped away from the spotlight, her contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated by fans. Jonathan Taylor Thomas is an American actor and former child star, born on September 8, 1981, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. He gained fame in the 1990s for his role as Randy Taylor on the hit sitcom Home Improvement, where his portrayal of the mischievous middle child endeared him to audiences worldwide. Thomas's success extended to film, with notable roles in movies like The Lion King and Tom and Huck. He became a teen heartthrob and a household name during his time on home improvement. In the late 1990s, Jonathan Taylor Thomas decided to step back from acting to focus on his education. He attended Harvard University, where he studied philosophy and history. While he continued to make occasional appearances in film and television, his focus shifted away from Hollywood. Currently, Jonathan Taylor Thomas is 42 years old. While he may not be as active in the entertainment industry, his contributions to television and film during his youth continue to be cherished by fans. Phoebe Cates is an American actress born on July 16, 1963, in New York City, New York. She gained fame in the 1980s for her roles in iconic teen films, particularly as Linda Barrett in Fast Times at Ridgemont High and as Kate Baringer in Gremlins and its sequel. Cates was known for her natural beauty and talent, which propelled her to become one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood during the 1980s. However, Despite her success, she made the decision to step back from acting in the early 1990s. Phoebe Cates chose to focus on her personal life, particularly her marriage to actor Kevin Kline, whom she wed in 1989, and their two children. While she occasionally appeared in films and television shows after her hiatus, her focus remained primarily on her family and personal pursuits. As of now, Phoebe Cates is 60 years old. Though she may have left the spotlight, her contributions to film during the 1980s continue to be cherished by fans.
Amanda Bynes is an American actress, born on April 3, 1986, in Thousand Oaks, California. She rose to prominence as a child star in the late 1990s and early 2000s with her comedic roles on Nickelodeon shows like All That and The Amanda Show. Bynes further solidified her fame with leading roles in films such as What a Girl Wants, She's the Man, and Hairspray. However, Bynes faced personal struggles and mental health issues in the public eye, leading to a hiatus from acting. In the mid-2010s, she announced her retirement from acting and retreated from the spotlight to focus on her well-being. Bynes has since undergone treatment and embarked on a journey of recovery. Now, Amanda Bynes is 37 years old. While her acting career may be on hold, her talent and contributions to entertainment continue to be remembered by fans, and her focus remains on maintaining her health and happiness. Freddie Prinze Jr. is an American actor, born on March 8, 1976, in Los Angeles, California. He gained fame in the late 1990s and early 2000s for his roles in teen romantic comedies such as She's All That, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and Scooby-Doo. Prinze Jr. enjoyed a successful acting career, becoming known for his boyish charm and leading roles in popular films. However, as the 2000s progressed, he began to shift his focus away from acting and towards other pursuits. Freddie Prinze Jr. decided to step back from acting to focus on his family and personal interests. He transitioned to voice acting and pursued opportunities in television production and writing. Today, Freddie Prinze Jr. is 48 years old. While he may not be as active in front of the camera, his contributions to film during the late 20th and early 21st centuries continue to be cherished by fans. Greta Garbo was a Swedish-born actress, born on September 18, 1905, in Stockholm, Sweden. She became an international sensation during Hollywood's silent and early sound eras, renowned for her captivating performances and enigmatic persona. Garbo's breakthrough role came in the silent film Flesh and the Devil, 1926, which catapulted her to stardom. She continued to captivate audiences with her performances in iconic films such as Anna Karenina, 1935, and Camille, 1936, earning critical acclaim and numerous accolades throughout her career. Despite her success, Garbo abruptly retired from acting in 1941 at the age of 35, citing a desire for privacy and disillusionment with the Hollywood studio system. She lived a reclusive life thereafter, rarely granting interviews or making public appearances. Greta Garbo passed away on April 15, 1990, in New York City, at the age of 84. The cause of her death was pneumonia and renal failure. Despite her short-lived career, Garbo remains an enduring icon of classic Hollywood cinema. Amanda Peterson was an American actress, born on July 8, 1971, in Greeley, Colorado. She rose to prominence in the 1980s with her memorable role as Cindy Mancini in the teen comedy film Can't Buy Me Love, 1987, opposite Patrick Dempsey. Her performance garnered her widespread acclaim and established her as a rising star in Hollywood. Following her success in Can't Buy Me Love, Peterson continued to work in film and television, appearing in projects such as A Year in the Life and Listen to Me. However, despite her promising start, Peterson's acting career began to wane, and she retired from the industry in the early 1990s. Tragically, Amanda Peterson passed away on July 3, 2015, at the age of 43. The cause of her death was ruled as accidental drug overdose. Her untimely passing saddened fans and fellow actors alike, leaving behind a legacy of talent and potential in the entertainment industry. Daniel Day-Lewis is a British actor widely regarded as one of the greatest performers in the history of cinema. Born on April 29, 1957, in London, England, Day-Lewis comes from a family of esteemed actors. 
He first gained international fame for his role in My Left Foot, 1989, portraying Christy Brown, a man with cerebral palsy. This performance earned him his first Academy Award for Best Actor, setting the stage for a remarkable career. Day-Lewis' career has been marked by his immersive approach to acting and his ability to fully embody his characters. He has portrayed a diverse range of roles in films such as Gangs of New York, There Will Be Blood, and Lincoln, earning him three Academy Awards for Best Actor, making him the first actor to achieve this feat. In 2017, Daniel Day-Lewis announced his retirement from acting, citing a desire to pursue other interests outside of the industry. Presently, he is 66 years old, leaving behind a legacy of unparalleled performances on screen. Gene Wilder was an American actor, comedian, and filmmaker, born Jerome Silberman on June 11, 1933, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He rose to fame for his comedic talent and quirky charm, becoming a beloved figure in Hollywood. Wilder gained widespread recognition for his collaborations with filmmaker Mel Brooks, starring in classic comedies such as The Producers, Blazing Saddles, and Young Frankenstein. His iconic portrayal of Willy Wonka in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory solidified his status as a cinematic legend. Throughout his career, Wilder continued to deliver memorable performances in a wide range of roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. However, in his later years, he chose to step away from acting to focus on writing and his personal life. Gene Wilder passed away on August 29, 2016, at the age of 83. The cause of his death was complications from Alzheimer's disease, a condition he battled privately for several years before his passing. His legacy as a comedic genius and talented actor continues to be celebrated by fans worldwide. Dave Chappelle is an American comedian, actor, and writer. Born on August 24, 1973, in Washington, D.C., he gained widespread recognition and fame for his groundbreaking sketch comedy series, Chappelle's Show, which aired on Comedy Central from 2003 to 2006. The show's satirical humor and cultural commentary earned Chappelle critical acclaim and a devoted fanbase. Throughout his career, Chappelle has remained a prominent figure in stand-up comedy, known for his sharp wit and thought-provoking performances. However, in 2005, Chappelle abruptly left Chappelle's show and retreated from the public eye. Chappelle cited concerns about the direction of the show and the pressure of fame as reasons for his departure. He took a hiatus from performing before returning to stand-up comedy in the late 2000s. Since then, he has continued to perform live shows and release comedy specials, solidifying his status as one of the most influential comedians of his generation. Today, Dave Chappelle is 50 years old, and his impact on comedy and culture remains significant. Jack Gleason is an Irish actor born on May 20, 1992, in Cork, Ireland. He rose to fame for his portrayal of King Joffrey Baratheon in the acclaimed HBO series Game of Thrones, which garnered him widespread recognition and acclaim. Despite his talent and success, Gleason chose to retire from acting following his departure from Game of Thrones. He expressed a desire to pursue other interests outside of the entertainment industry and to focus on his education. Gleason's decision to quit acting allowed him to explore different avenues and interests. He pursued academic studies, attending Trinity College Dublin, where he studied philosophy and theology. As of now, Jack Gleason is 31 years old. While he may have left the acting world behind, his portrayal of King Joffrey remains memorable to fans of Game of Thrones, and his decision to prioritize personal fulfillment outside of acting is respected by many. Nikki Blonsky is an American actress, singer, and dancer, born on November 9, 1988, in Great Neck, New York. 
She gained widespread fame for her breakout role as Tracy Turnblad in the 2007 film adaptation of the musical Hairspray. Blonsky's performance earned her critical acclaim and a Golden Globe nomination, propelling her to stardom. Following her success in Hairspray, Blonsky continued to pursue acting and music, appearing in various television shows, films, and stage productions. However, she did not achieve the same level of success as her debut role. Blonsky has not officially announced quitting acting, but her career has slowed down in recent years, with fewer roles in prominent projects. She has shifted her focus towards other endeavors, including music and advocacy work. Presently, Nikki Blonsky is 35 years old. Despite her quieter presence in the entertainment industry, her memorable performance in Hairspray continues to be celebrated by fans. Frankie Muniz is an American actor, musician, and race car driver, born on December 5, 1985, in Wood Ridge, New Jersey. He gained fame as a child actor for his starring role as Malcolm in the hit sitcom Malcolm in the Middle, which aired from 2000 to 2006. Muniz's portrayal of the titular character earned him critical acclaim and multiple award nominations, including an Emmy Award nomination. Following the success of Malcolm in the Middle, Muniz continued to act in various film and television projects, including Agent Cody Banks and its sequel. However, as he transitioned into adulthood, Muniz began to explore other interests, including music and racing. While he has not officially announced quitting acting, Muniz has taken a step back from the entertainment industry to focus on his passion for racing. Today, Frankie Muniz is 38 years old, and while his acting career may have slowed down, his legacy as a beloved child star endures. Doris Day was an American actress, singer, and animal welfare activist, born Doris Mary Ann Kappelhoff on April 3, 1922, in Cincinnati, Ohio. She became one of the most popular and beloved entertainers of the 20th century, known for her wholesome image, golden voice, and timeless performances. Day rose to fame as a singer in the 1940s, with hits like Sentimental Journey and Que Sera, Sera, Whatever Will Be, Will Be. She transitioned to acting, starring in iconic films such as Pillow Talk, Calamity Jane, and The Man Who Knew Too Much. Despite her successful career, Day retired from acting in the early 1970s to focus on her personal life and animal welfare activism. She dedicated her later years to advocating for animal rights through her Doris Day Animal Foundation. Doris Day passed away on May 13, 2019, at the age of 97. The cause of her death was pneumonia. She left behind a lasting legacy as a talented entertainer and compassionate advocate for animals. Rick Schroeder is an American actor and filmmaker, born on April 13, 1970, in Staten Island, New York. He gained fame as a child actor for his role as Ricky Stratton in the sitcom Silver Spoons, which aired from 1982 to 1987. Schroeder's charismatic performance in the series made him a teen heartthrob and propelled him to stardom. Following his success in Silver Spoons, Schroeder continued to act in various film and television projects, including NYPD Blue and Lonesome Dove. He also ventured into directing and producing. In recent years, Schroeder has stepped back from acting to focus on his personal life and other pursuits. While he has not officially announced quitting acting, he has taken on fewer roles in recent years, preferring to spend time with his family and pursue other interests. Presently, Rick Schroeder is 53 years old, and while his acting career may have slowed down, his contributions to television and film continue to be remembered by fans. Thank you for watching. Which actor's absence surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care and keep wondering about the mysteries of Hollywood.